a boom. Awesome. And so today's Wednesday class, today's Wednesday class, what we'll do is we really will work on that transverse abdominis and then moving a little bit deeper underneath it as well. Um, and so um, we will move around just to move some flow to remind us that we're in our yoga practice and then we'll spend a lot of our time uh, on the back body doing some fun things that will work into the belly and the brain, um, this cross lateral connection movement that I really, really like and some hollow body, okay? And then we'll stretch the abdominals from that area in bridge uh, and things like that and cats and cows. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, make sure that you have everything that you need, that you've got your uh, volume turned up, you have water if you need it, you have props if you want them. Um, good. And then I'm gonna get you to um, start down on your back and start on your back with your feet together and your knees wide and your hands on your belly. Okay, that's where you're gonna start today. Good, welcome everybody to your practice and thank you so much for being here. <sighs> Good. All right, so as you are laying on your back with your knees wide, your head resting on the ground, and your hands along your belly, you go ahead and take some nice deep breaths here underneath your hands, so really locating your abdominals. All right, so the length of your abdominals, and then the cross width of your abdominals. All right. And then your back body. So allowing your low back to kind of sink down and towards the ground. And we'll take about five deep breaths here. We'll inhale through the nose and feel your abdominals lift. And then as you exhale, you reverse the breath with the abdominals fall in the chest. And then it comes out from the mouth, right? We're feeling the heaviness of your head. So that three part breath here, you're breathing in through your nose, filling up from the chest the belly and low down towards the diaphragm and then reversing the breath as you exhale from the diaphragm and the softness of the belly and through the chest right as it leaves the mouth or nose we'll do one more like that just three part breath good all right so let's go ahead and uh, pull the knees in towards each other and then we'll hug our knees in towards our chest and give ourselves a squeeze. And then move around in the shape. So I want you to really notice what's happening in your low back. As you work the abdominals, I want you to make sure you're protecting your low back all the time. You can move around in circle shapes or just pull into a tiny shape with the chin in, whatever feels good to you here. <sighs> good. Just a couple more breaths, squeezing in, nice and tight, feeling the pressure of the belly into the thighs and from the back. Oh, good. All right, so place your feet on the ground and um, we'll have our hands on the floor and then we're gonna lift up for bridge, but lengthen your tailbone first and then lift up. We'll just squeeze our glutes here, walk our shoulders under, keep our chin up off our chest and we'll take about five breaths here. I don't know about you guys, but wow, from yesterday's practice, my glutes are really, um, sore. I'm happy about that. So holding those poses, I really feel the muscles that I worked yesterday in our Hatha practice. <sighs> Good. Two more breaths here. Keep the tailbone lengthening so it's reaching forward. Good. And then slowly kind of bring it down, letting my uh, mid-back come down first and then tilting the tailbone, low back comes down. Windshield wiper your shins from side to side. Good. So we'll smash into some areas that we used yesterday. All right, this should feel good into the piriformis inside of the glute. Right. And then you're going to pull your knees into your chest and we're going to roll forward and back or off to the side a couple of times and then we're going to make our way into tabletop. So whatever feels good, you're ironing out your spine. Still getting a few pops and cracks. I'm gonna keep going here just a couple more times. It's just to warm up your spine. And then if you're in tabletop, you're gonna start moving through your cats and cows. So we'll continue to wake up the abdominals and the spine here. Through cat and cow, fingers are spread wide. Using your breath. Just a couple more.
the last one. And then turning the toes under and we'll find downward facing dog. Toes are turned under, hips move up and back. Keep your knees bent here. So I really want you to lengthen out through the torso and let go of the hamstrings a little bit. We'll come into those in just a moment. The knees are very bent, right? Push your chest back, pull the front ribs in, hug the belly in. Just a couple more breaths. Your last one. And then you'll straighten your left leg, keep your right knee bent and press back. So really opening up the length of the left leg. Hug the low belly in, breathe. And then we'll switch to so the left uh, knee will bend and the right leg will straight, push the heel down towards the ground or into the floor. Make sure your hands feel well placed, push back. Good. Take another breath here. Good. And then both legs will straight as best as you can and press back, push, pull the front ribs in, pull the front ribs in. Good. Come high on your toes and take a deep breath, press the chest back. Good. All right, let's go ahead and walk forward to the top of our mat. And once we get there, we'll take a breath and halfway lift hands to shins or higher, shoulders back. And then exhale, fold down. So we'll dangle here over our legs. You can move around and your wrists and fingers should sway if you'd like. There's a couple more breaths, just right where we are. Good. And then softening the knees, coming all the way up to stand. Letting the arms reach up overhead. I can see rest, look up. Uh, and then push your hips forward a little bit and squeeze the muscles of your legs. So you're really using your whole length of legs to support the back bend. Good. And then the hands will come to the heart and stand up nice and tall. Good. All right, so let your arms drop down by your side. And we're going to roll our shoulders a few times, just forward, up, and back. Good. A couple more here. And then opposite direction. Loose the whole body. Good. And then inhale, shoulders reach up to the ears, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. And we'll do it one more time. Inhale, shoulders to ears. And exhale, let it go. Good. Arms reach out and up. Big breath. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, come back to the center and then lean to the left. And then come back to the center one more time. Lean to the right. Again, warming up the side body, abdominals, obliques, lean to the left. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles to the floor, look up. You should really open up the chest. Good, pull the belly in. You can push the hips more forward. One more breath. Good, exhale, fold with the bind. Good, drop the weight of your head. Push against it. Good. Release your hands down, find chair. Good, drop in a little bit so we can see our whole body warm up. One more breath here. Exhale, fold down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, left foot steps back. Good, take a moment to pause here. Good, right foot steps back to meet it. Take a breath. Good. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in and out. Good. Look forward. Step your left foot forward. Pause. Drop into your hip a little bit. Look forward. Step to the top of your mat. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Breathe out and fold down. Inhale. Come to rise. Reach up. Exhale. Lean to the right. Inhale, stand up tall, lean to the left, breathe out. Inhale, stand up, lean to the right. Stand up, lean to the left. Stand up, breathe in. Hands go behind the back, interlace the fingers, look up. 
exhale, bend the knees, fold. Take an extra breath here. Good, find share. I'm gonna keep my knees really bent here. Pull the tailbone back, belly in. So you can really think about how, as especially as you're in chair and as we step back and then step forward again, you're using the belly to lift those legs forward and back. Good, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe out, hands down, right foot steps back. You can drag in the hips here as much as you need to for the hip flexor, okay? One more breath. Step back to plank. Feel plank. Downward dog. Take a breath. Good. Look forward, right foot steps forward. Left foot comes to me. Use the belly, right? So you can use the belly to kind of lift up and pull it up nice and slow even. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, come all the way up to stand. We'll go two more rounds or one full round. Exhale, lean to the right. Stand up tall, breathe in, breathe out left. You know the pattern now, move with your breath. Exhale, right. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale up, exhale, hands go behind the back. Look up. Exhale, fold. And I expect you to go deeper every time, right? Push and stay more connected. That's what deep means for you. Find chair. Sit low. Belly in tight. Squeeze your butt. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fingertips touch. Left foot steps back. Take a breath. Use the belly to pick the right foot up and step it back. Downward dog. Take a breath. Good, one more. Good. Look forward. Step the left foot forward. Use the belly to pick it up. Just keep practicing. Look forward. Use the right side of the belly to step the right foot up. Breathe out full. You can always take an extra inhale, halfway lift there if you need to. Breathe in, come up. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, stand up, look up. Belly, exhale, hands behind the back. Inhale, look up, knuckles to floor. Exhale, bend knees, fold. Whole body. Ah, push. Good, find chair on your breath in. Landing it on the exhale, go lower. Good, so you know, I don't expect you to go super into a squat here, but pull that butt back. I want you to feel the feels here. So one more breath, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, fingertips down, right foot steps back. Pick it up, step it back. Good, left foot lift and step back to plank. Push it back in plank. Breathe out downward dog. Take a breath. Good. So we're going to move through uh, some chaturanga work, half chaturanga. We'll add that into the practice today because it's good to do. <sighs> I got to catch my breath. <laughs> well, it's funny because I've been reading tutorials on how to teach and move. And it's really, I have to stop breathing out of my nose, which is weird because that's what I want you to do is breathe out of your nose. <laughs> All right, let's roll forward to flank. Good. So sink down into the shape a little bit. So, you know, you can have this rounded upward. That's fine if you're feeling it. But I never want you to be sinking low. But have some buoyancy within it and feel the feel. See if you can find plank in a different area of the abdominal. Okay, lower the knees down now. Untuck the toes. Take a breath. Spin the biceps forward. So my biceps, my elbows are reaching forward here a little bit. I'm going to look forward and my elbows are going to go straight back. Squeeze the elbows in, now push up. Good, do it two more times. Good. One more. Good, and then exhale all the way down. Good. All right, so let's step our fingertips off the mat. We're still in warm-up mode here. Uh, tuck the front ribs in, elbows are up. 
point the toes, lift up a little bit. Exhale, drop the right shoulder down to the center of the mat. Let's open up those shoulders even more. Good. Take an extra breath here. We'll start to flow in a moment. Good. Back to the center as you breathe in. You don't have to go high, but you could. Exhale, left shoulder comes to the middle of the mat. Hands are off of your mat. So, so many students get so, you know, your mat is wonderful. and It's your magic carpet, but you can use the space around it too. Come back to the center. Good. Exhale, bring it down, hands under shoulders. Turn your toes under, please, and walk the heels back and tuck the front ribs in. Imagine that you're in, uh, and if you were like pushing away from the floor, which you're going to in a moment, but prepare your body first. I'm snapping my tailbone down so my butt is up. I know it's hard to see me here, dark pants, but I'm pulling my uh, tailbone in. And I pull the belly and look straight down. I'm gonna keep my knees down this time, but then I'm gonna push the ground away, elbows in. You got that? Good. Let's do it two more times. I want you to come all the way to the floor. Good, prepare, and then push. Good, come down. Maybe your hands need to turn out a little bit, but don't let your elbows go wide. It's way too hard on the shoulder. Good, snap it in, prepare. Good, breathe out and, and push away. Good, hips to heels for child. So as you're in child's here, we'll just use this space now to center and integrate if you haven't already. <sighs> now take about three breaths here. One of the beautiful things about having a sustainable and lifelong practice, especially if you're at home, the opportunities of centering and integrating in your practice don't have to come in the top because you're already practiced. You've, you've, you've arrived into the space. So you know the work to come, right? That is your, your integration. All right, downward facing dog. Good. All right, so we're gonna go through this. We'll see that just a little bit, just for time's sake, but you take your time and we're gonna go through it again so we can get these chaturangas moved and then we'll start focusing on the front of the belly. Although this actually has a lot to do with it. Take a breath and down dog. <sighs> Roll forward to plank. Think about plank, right? Maybe think about it in a different way, like different parts of the body that you really want to feel here. Maybe it's a little higher and snack. Maybe it's shoulders sinking in a little bit. Maybe it's elbows slightly bent. Where can you feel the power of plank a little differently? Good, take another breath in and out. Good, lower the knees down nice and slow and then pick them back up. Boop. And again, nice and slow. Belly pulls in, pick them back up. Nice and slow, pick them back up. Nice and slow, pause. Good, so lengthen the tailbone, untuck the toes. Look forward, spin the elbow creases forward. Exhale, bring it down, pick it back up. You don't have to go all the way down here, go partly. Go do one more. And bring it all the way down. Good, set the fingertips off the mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, drop the right shoulder, center of the mat. Inhale, come to the center. Left shoulder, center of mat. Inhale to the center. Right shoulder, center mat. Inhale, lift to the center. Exhale, drop the left shoulder, center mat. Inhale, lift up, big breath. Exhale, bring it down. Hands under shoulders, turn the toes under, walk the legs in. You can do it with legs wider. You really gotta have that center of gravity, uh, real connection there for the pubic bone. All right, so we're gonna practice moving away from the floor. Pull the belly in, snap it in, squeeze your butt. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep our knees on the ground. The next time we're gonna try to keep knees up. All right, belly in, take a breath. Exhale, push. So what you don't want to do is have like the belly follows the shoulder like that. You want to try to do it in one straight line. All right, and then we're going to come down all the way. So think of your body in one straight line here. Take your hands a little wider apart if you're having a hard time accessing them. 
pull the belly in, squeeze the leg muscles, take a breath, exhale. So it's almost like your hands and your navel are pushing you up. Down. Up. Good. All right, hips to heels for child, just pass through. Now we're facing dog. We're gonna do one more round. You can practice with the knees up, do it at least one time, but if you sag in the low back, then just keep practicing with the knees down. That's how you fudge your power. Take a breath. All right, let's roll forward to plank. You got this. Sign plank, feel the fingertips. Spread the fingers wide as you can. My fingers are wide as hell. Take a breath. All right, I'm gonna lean forward. You can always drop the knees, then I'm gonna come down halfway and push up. Whew, it's harder to do after those three cycles. <laughs> Good, let's do it again. Push up. Push from the navel, let the navel pull you up. Take a breath. This time come all the way down slow. Oh. Good, take a breath in and out. Fingertips come to the side of the mat. Wag the shoulders a little bit. Pull the belly in. Inhale up. Exhale, right shoulder. I'm gonna go a little higher now to stretch my abdominals. You listen to what feels good to you. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale to the center. Exhale, right shoulder. Last one, inhale up. Exhale, left shoulder. Inhale up, exhale, hands down. All right, so hands are gonna come under. I'm giving myself a little wrist love here. Hands go under the shoulders, my hands are a little wider. I'll walk my front ribs in to start connecting with that front line body. Remember, knees down or up. If your knees are up, toes are under, knees start up. All right, my knees are up off the ground here. My legs are strong. <laughs> All right, gaze is down, clear your breath. Snap the pubic bone up to the navel. Inhale, exhale, push. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of those. You got to muscle your way into it sometimes. Exhale, bring it down. Good. So let that first one feel the feel. Do you need the knees down? Do you need to have your hands placed differently? I'm going to take my hands a little wider. Good, snap the pubic bone, pull the belly in, exhale, push up. That was a little better. Exhale, bring it down. Good, inhale, exhale, push up. Downward dog. Oh. All right, so connecting those movements really are about feeling the importance of the navel center and and not just using your hand to muscle your way up, but use your belly to lift you up. One more breath. Good. All right, walk it forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, come all the way to rise. Reach up, let those arms lift. And exhale, hands to your heart. So we're getting ready to transition to our back, but I'm going to move your breath a little bit here. All right, hands go by your side. Roll your shoulders. <sighs> Opposite direction. You can move them to the wrists and fingers. And move our breath. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale. <sighs> Let them go one more time. Let it go. <sighs> Good. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, come to rise. Reach up, look up. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Keep going here. So it's important really to find your breath and move through this simple flow. Because you can sometimes feel like the energy, the central nervous system, a little shake, 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 right? And you want to kind of let yourself glory in that. The really notifications, messages of change. Keep going, a tumor cycle. 
Do that and fold. You inhale, halfway lift. You exhale, fold. You rise. Um, and then prepare just really for the next set of work. So it keeps us from being boring and isolated, too. The last one. And I know you're going to be done because you'll be standing tall with your hands at your heart. <sighs> nice job. <clears throat> All right. So hands at the heart. Inhale, reach up. Stay lifted. So pull your front ribs in and stretch the abdominals by really pressing down into the feet and pulling the front ribs in. Really lift, 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 lift. <sighs> Drop the tailbone. And then exhale, hands to your heart. All right, so take your feet wide. We'll drop down into a squat now. Toes are way out. Drop down. Woo! Squat feels good. Move around a little side to side. Good. All right, let's find our twist. Right fingertips down. And you can just use the left hand on the knee, or you could reach it out to the side. I've been teaching these off in this past week. Um, I like them. Good belly in. Ugh. One more breath. Anyway, I can sneak in some squat training. Come back to the center. Now let's move to the opposite side. Left fingertips down, right hand to the knee, or out to the side, or up. Good. Drop the tailbone so you're long in the low back, right? You're long in the low back. Find your breath. And then come back to the center. Close your eyes for a moment. Good. One more breath here. Good. All right, so you're gonna come down to your seat. And then we're gonna bring the feet in together. Bring the toes on the ground. We're gonna find boat. So bring your hands behind the backs of your knees and just lift your chest. Good, take some breaths here. So you can straighten out one leg at a time if you'd like. I want you to wake up the abdominals again through the boat. Good. You could be using no hands, but as long as you're not feeling it in your low back, you're doing the work. Find the breath. You always kind of sit up. Where are your sit bones here, right? You're not way back on them. You're just very far back on them, but you're not in front of them either. Keep going. Fine boat. I like my knees bent. If you want to straighten your legs, you can. It pulls into my hip flexors a lot here. So I get more core if I'm here. But I'm not holding on, I'm just lifting up. One more breath, shoulders back. Good. All right, so we're gonna roll to our back. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, bring your feet down. But I'm gonna pull my heels in and my knees wide and roll down to my back. So now my knees are wide. Take a deep breath, knees wide on your back. Good. One more breath. Good. I'm going to scoot down my mat a little so you can see me better. All right. So bridge is going to be the place where we stretch out and still stay uh, connected to the posture as we move into different variations of working the front of the bed. All right. Hands by your side. Walk the shoulders under. So your feet on the ground, lengthen the tailbone, lift up for bridge. Think about all those cues. Remember them because I, I won't waste the minute saying those again and again. Okay, let's take one more breath here, chin off chest. <sighs> Feed your breath into your belly. Good, come down, lengthen tailbone. Move shin side to side. Twists always go well with abdominals, twists so well with um, heart openers. All right, knees back up to the center. <sighs> Good, pull the knees up into the chest. Good, bring your hands behind your legs, and then we're gonna roll, rock up into boat. Good, take a few breaths. You can always do knees wide too. Having knees wide will take a little bit of that off of the sit flexor here. You can practice that. And again, you can practice one at a time. I'd rather you be focusing on your belly and your drishti and where you are, rather than on the camera, okay? So toes together, arms out wide is nice. Pull the belly in deep, 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 deep. Good, keep going. We only get better, our abdominal gets stronger if we do these a lot. Good. 
Take your time. The placement of the drishti in the hands is so important. Good. All right, pull the knees together. And if you feel comfortable, pull them wide and roll back. So I'm rounding and rolling back. Pull the knees wide. Take a breath. Good. Pull the knees in. Feet go down to the ground. Find bridge. Good. Roll it back down. Windshield wipe or shin, side to side, two on each side. Good. We'll do one more set like that, and then we'll take a little lower, and then we'll transition to something a little different. Knees come in, take a breath. Good. Walk up. See if this time you can keep the feet from touching and come up. Good. Find a breath. Good. Belly is in. Find your breath. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lift the chest. Good. One leg at a time or both. Knees wide. Whatever's working for you. Good. Go a little deeper. Cross the ankles. And the other ankle. Three, two, and one. See if you can pull up and roll back. Good. Knees wide. Relax the hip flexors and the low back. Good. Then knees in and feet down. Bridge. Feed your breath to your belly here. One more. Squeeze your butt. Bring it down. Windshield wiper side to side. Good. All right. <clears throat> so knees come in. And then we're going to. Um, Bring the feet back down to the floor, but inchworm them forward. Inchworm them forward, okay? I'm gonna keep my feet a little close together. So my legs are forward, I have a bend in my knee, and then I'm gonna lengthen my low back. So I'm snapping my low back into the ground. I'm rolling my chin to my chest, and I'm gonna bring my arms forward, good. So here, it's a half hollow body. Good. Arms can be up, arms can be back. Back is much harder. If you feel when you move back, it makes your ribs open and your low back lift and don't do it. Good. Almost there, we're warming the space up. That's too much on your neck. Keep your chin in. You can always bring your hands behind your head just to rest your head a little bit. Good, three, two, lift up. Get more of the back ribs off the ground and then roll it back down. Take a breath. Move your head from side to side. Good. From the center, find your feet. Lengthen your low back. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Good. Sometimes it's helpful if I kind of pull my ribs up off the ground. Give myself a little bit of extra heat. Good. And then I'm going to extend my left foot forward. And lift. 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 I'm not stamping in my right foot. My right foot's super soft. Lift. 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 Good, push the heel away or point the toe, lift up. Find that breath, remember we did that beautiful breath work for the belly. Find the container and slowly bring it down. Left foot comes down, move the head side to side. Good, back to the center, breath. Good, snap the low belly down to the ground and then begin to lift up. Lift up, right foot reaches forward. Good, you can have your left foot really far forward here. Breathe. Good, find your breath. You'll find in these poses that the strong side of your body is just in your leg. It's all the way up that side of your body. You can really notice that here. Good, find your breath. Suck that belly in and up. Three, two, one, reach. Bring it back down, right foot comes down, chin moves side to side. Good. All right, so we'll pull the knees into the chest and give them a hug. Good. And then you're gonna bring both feet down to the ground. Lengthen your low back, walk your feet forward. Good, pull your chin to your chest and lift your shoulders up off the ground. Walk your hips, or walk your uh, back ribs up. Bring your hands to the back of your legs and then push your feet forward. Put the chin in, full hollow body. 
You can let go of the legs if you want, <laughs> if you can. Oh, but keep that low back on the ground. Three, two, pull the belly in. One, pull the knees into the chest. <sighs> Bring your feet down to the ground wide. Lift up for bridge. Keep the chin off the chest. <sighs> one more breath. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> Good. Bring it all the way down. Windshield wiper your shin side to side. Good. All right, last bit, we'll move into the side body oblique, and we'll come to rest. All right, <clears throat> pull the knees into the chest wide, knees into the chest wide. Take a full belly breath, relax your shoulders and neck. Good, bring your knees together to touch, good. And then you're gonna pull your um, feet forward, just like your knees are above your hips, just like you're resting on a bench, right? You could be here, here. Pull the low belly in. Lengthen out the back ribs. Good. You can bring your hands behind your head, or you could let your arms be free uh, up here. Whatever's going to work for you from the movement. Good. Take a breath. Lift your chest up. Good. So my upper back's off the ground. My chin is slightly in. My eyebrows are lifted. Good. Take a breath. Feel here. And we'll lift up, and then we'll turn to the right. And then we'll stay up, and we'll turn to the left. We'll stay up, then we'll turn to the right. Please don't go fast. I'd rather you to like really feel all the parts as you're moving here. Good. And you do want to keep your chin kind of in your chest. It's that kind of hollow body work. Good. So you're not rolling from side to side. You're landing, finding breath, landing, finding breath. Keep going. You can. <laughs> I almost rolled off. Ugh, I gotta land. One more on each side. Ugh. The breath can help. Back to the center, hold it. Bring it down. Pull the knees to the chest. Pull the knees wide. Let your head move from side to side. Good. Bring your knees together to touch. Bring your feet down on the ground. Find bridge. Good, nice open throat now, chin is up. Squeeze your butt. Feed your belly with your breath. One more. Good, lengthen out, bring it down. Good, bring the knees in together to touch. Extend the feet up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands wherever you can, but as close to the feet or toes as you can. Okay, so just wherever you can be. I'm gonna walk my hands all the way at my heels. You can come to the toes, or if you're at the calves, or the back of the knees, that's fine. Straighten your legs intensely. Point your toes, take a breath. Lengthen out, traction that low back, my friends. You can make this deeper, you could lift your chin if you wanted to. I want you to feel the feels of this, and it should feel good. Push your feet and your hands into each other, or your legs and your hands into each other. And then you can next to relax. Find happy baby. Close your eyes. Swallow to relax your throat. Good. Just a couple more breaths here. If you need to sway around, you can. Knees come together to touch. Arms move over the head or wide. Knees drop to the right. So here's where you find that this twist you really love. So the twists at the end of the practice are really the ones that help you settle for Shavasana. So always feel free to choose those. Back to the center. <sighs> And then to the left, the knees will drop. And then through the center, 
Pull your knees into your chest, pull your nose towards your knees. Take a breath and hold it. And then exhale, let it go. So you can have the feet on the ground. You can spread out nice and wide. So take a moment just to feel the feels of your body. It's really warm in the abdominal area, right? It is. Let yourself just feel a little bit of a float now within the structure. And you do that by coming into the weight of your bones, which we really released and let go today. Yesterday's practice was more muscle wrapping around bone. Today it was more <laughs> muscle igniting around muscle and tendon, softness of fascia. So just let yourself be here. Take a deep breath through your nose every now and then. And let it go from your mouth. Good. You did a beautiful job today. It was a lot of nice work. Thank you so much for your time and your practice. Namaste.